Let's have some first impressions on Tennis Arena, a sports game published by Helium Night Games. So Helium Night Games is the same publisher than for World of Tennis Roaring Twenties, another very realistic tennis game like Tennis Arena that we are going to see. So I have tested uh, this game because a lot of Tennis Clash players have uh, started playing Tennis Arena and have asked me to make a review of this game to give uh, my first impressions on it. So here we go. I'm going to uh, use the same name than in Tennis Clash. We are going to start with a kind of tutorial, I guess, uh, indeed. Here is a precision exercise. We need to hit a target four times. Here we go. Yeah, so it is basically to uh, make it you train and I'm going to fast forward it and swipe correctly to diversify the length of your swipe to hit the correct target. Here we need to make perfect shots and in tennis arena you have to wait until the ball gets close your body gets near your character to hit a perfect shot nothing like in tennis clash where you can prepare your swipe way before the ball comes close to you to make two lob shots you have seen it you can put one finger on the screen and with the other finger make as a swipe here this is an exercise to make a shot and then move your character in preparation for the next shot. So if you are a player who is uh, used to play in Tennis Clash for instance or Tennis Go or whatever other tennis game you are going to see how to play Tennis Arena quite fast except for the serve here the way of serving is a bit more realistic you toss the ball by swiping and then you swipe again to hit the serve not like in tennis clash in tennis clash you just have to swipe fast once to serve and the faster your swipe in tennis clash I'm talking the faster your serve so here we have a practice match with a coach that is a boat of course this is the way that the game is showing where your player is going to move is a bit weird especially if you uh, use to see very precisely how your character and where your character is going to move in tennis clash so for what I'm seeing right now it is much more realistic in tennis clash to hit your shots to hit your volleys to hit cross court shots passing shots I haven't tested the smash yet. Serves are much more realistic than in Tennis Clash. And I have the impression that uh, the shots are hit a more realistic way. They are closer to reality than in Tennis Clash where the speed of the game is much faster here the gameplay speed is uh, pretty low it's even lower than the rookie tournament in Tennis Clash you know when your cars are capped at level 5 well it used to be level 5 now it's level 6 but in Tennis Clash I mean this is very very low and you can forget to place your shots as well in tennis arena 
unlike in uh, Tennis Clash. In Tennis Clash, you really have to uh, swipe very, very late to miss a shot. In Tennis Arena, if you don't swipe early enough, you can miss the shot very easily. So you can't really go into the court. You can't actually. You can't step in the court before the serve. It's not like in, in Tennis Clash. And you have those zoom on a winner, a bit like in World of Tennis Roaring Twenties. Some things you don't see in Tennis Clash. A kind of highlight. Yeah, the feeling is that uh, the gameplay is very much more realistic in Tennis Arena, but uh, that's normal because this game is using, I feel that this is using the same 3D more engine than World of Tennis, Roaring Twenties, except the characters uh, don't look vintage like in World of Tennis. They look more modern. Yeah, something is wrong here. So we have daily rewards. That is not something that we see in Tennis Clash. Okay, let's play a match. This is searching for opponents. I don't know if it's a bot. So you start uh, with the basic skills. I haven't improve the cast that uh, the initial character got. I'm going to try and volley a bit. I don't know if it's going to be the same thing than in Tennis Clash. One thing that I have noticed, even when you try to swipe hard towards the corners, you know, to play on Wishing Wiper mode, it's not working like in Tennis Clash and you can easily well commit unforced errors in Tennis Clash it's not easy to commit errors especially when you have good stats nice kind of drop serve there from my opponent I'm trying to do the same thing and no Unfortunately, that passing shot didn't work. Not so easy to hit aces. At least until I upgraded myself. So, what I can notice is that my character doesn't move much after I hit a shot. It's not so easy to move uh, my character after forehand or backhand it's not so intuitive it's not really responsive like in tennis clash this is much more simulation game than tennis clash which is a mix between simulation and arcade with a higher touch of arcade than simulation i'm talking about tennis clash so you can try and aim your shots, but this it's not always guaranteed. I'm going to try and serve like a bit in tennis clash here, and that works. Hey, cross course serves. Yeah, I'm trying to move into the court, but it's not possible. You can't you can't step back either. You can't step forward or step back. It's weird. You can just move laterally. Yep, he got me there with a drop shot. So even if you tap a lot, it's not really moving very fast. And if you are used, you know, to move your character fast, like in Tennis Clash, well, it can be disturbing because uh, the character is not moving super fast. Yeah, it's not. It's not instant. I don't know if uh, you see what I mean. Like in Tennis Clash, you know, whenever you tap a lot to make your character move, 
you will move very fast to go wherever you want your character to go almost running in here it's not the case at all right now the weather game is uh, is quite fun but I don't know if uh, it's going to be fun like that at higher level this is just the early game I guess that we will have a paying wall soon a paywall where you need to pay to upgrade your items or rackets or shoes etc like in uh, World of Tennis Roaring 20s otherwise you can't really improve the speed of serve, the power of shots, the precision of your ball or you know the uh, accuracy etc of your character if you love simulation games you will love tennis arena you will find it uh, much better than tennis arena but if you love tennis games like virtual tennis which with a um, bigger touch of arcade game then you will find tennis clash better than this one Well, I used to uh, to like virtual tennis a lot, but they stopped updating it, and well, it's too bad. Then I switched to Tennis Clash, and I love it. And I'm lucky to be in the top 100 global in Tennis Clash. Here, looks like it's going to take me a lot of time if I want to get to the top. in the country ranking where well, I guess that being developed by the same publisher Helium 9 games they are keeping the same way of ranking meaning they are ranking by country so if you choose France as your country at the beginning of the game they're going to rank you versus other French players We're going to see the character customization afterwards. Character customization is um, an advantage of uh, World of Tennis versus Tennis Clash. I guess that using the same system is this going to be good as well in Tennis Arena. All right. It was a long match. Yeah, same end of match uh, animation done in World of Tennis. So you get rewards in terms of coins. You can watch at to double your coins reward. You have the statistic at the mat at the end of the match. So we can watch some highlights and reviews. Reviews are uh, the replays like in Tennis Clash, the replays of Tennis Clash I mean so you can tap at the bottom to, uh, to change the different replays you can watch highlights as well and same thing you just tap on the bottom to change the highlight you can make a pose, you can quit whenever you want by tapping on this door icon that you see on the top right part all right we'll complete challenges to improve your character we are in the beginners one league we can improve yeah you can upgrade the power we don't have enough coins they propose to buy in the shop let's have a look wow yeah it's not really expensive compared to uh, what is proposed in Tennis Clash. You can watch ad for free to get coins. Now, this is a good system. In Tennis Clash you can't watch ads to get gems. So you know that in uh, Tennis Clash gems is more useful to upgrade cards than coins. It's not really the same system. 
but you can't watch ads to get gems in Tennis Clash. Here, it's not uh, really a pay to win game like in Tennis Clash. You can still progress on free to play mode by watching ads. You can improve your skills by playing, watching the ads for uh, extra chances without paying, so that is good. If you are really used to play fast tennis like in Tennis Slash, you will find Tennis Arena a bit boring, I guess, because the game is, I insist, very slow. It's very realistic, but also very slow. Well, it's quite realistic, so knowing tennis in real life can help. Knowing tennis tactics can be helpful indeed. Because it's not all about swiping super hard. Ooh, connection error. We have a server issue there. Too bad, too bad, too bad. The game is frozen. I have to restart. Yeah. I see, I see. Maybe Tennis Arena is suffering from the same bugs than Tennis Clash, server issues. But at least in Tennis Clash, you don't need to restart the app. It's frozen, you lose connection, but then you come back to the game. Okay. Very realistic, really. If you love realistic tennis games, you will love Tennis Arena. The cycle of accuracy to uh, use the same terms than in Tennis Clash is more realistic. And you use the player skills more than in Tennis Clash, I have the impression. Here you can easily see that my opponent is giving me a lesson of tennis there. With cross course shots, big cross course shots. So I need to know a bit more about his hitting pattern. He diversify a lot his hitting pattern with uh, long, strong shots and drop shots or cross court soft shots. This is really the kind of game where taking your time to you know to practice and know the game is rewarding and this is very satisfying you know to play a tennis game which is really giving the impression that this is uh, that you are really playing tennis as you can see I tried a drop shot and it worked it so of course this is the first time I play tennis arena so I'm nowhere from playing it correctly but you can see that if uh, you know a bit how to play tennis games then you can still manage to play the game without much difficulty. Ooh, ugly and forced error there. Can I come back? Three match points. Except that the game doesn't say match point at all. Yeah. Yeah, I start to see his uh, hitting pattern. So now I can guess a bit more how he plays. I'm going to insist on his uh, backhand and then hit a strong shot to the other side. Ooh. 
we both lack stamina now you can see the stamina bar up there yeah this should be enough indeed the classic down the line winners yeah now I see how he plays this is much easier and that's it luckily I made this comeback to get 10 coins so it's much faster to watch ad to get coins than to play matches actually so the dynamics of the game are quite good, are superb even. Movements are very realistic, they are amazingly realistic. Yep, you can watch an ad to keep playing. It's not like in Tennis Clash, in Tennis Clash you can pay with coins to play extra matches until you have no more coins here you have to watch ads okay I'm taking a look at the different tabs you can train to uh, get upgrade cards so you have free training you have advanced training that you pay with gems you can choose coach it's exactly like here uh, in World of Tennis so far the game has crashed once well it didn't really crash technically it was just frozen so I had to restart it some tennis clash players who uh, switch to play tennis arena we are saying to me that uh, Tennis Arena is crashing very often. So far, I don't see it. It's quite stable so far. It's working not too bad. But the coach is uh, clearly. playing very well for just a uh, basic training it's quite different from the bots that you see in tennis clash <laughs> yeah I didn't place my shots correctly as well Yeah, so I don't know for the mid game or, or the late game if you have critical shots or kind of like in tennis slash but so far all shots have uh, the same precision and uh, and power ooh too bad I guess that it will take a lot of upgrades to have faster shots and more powerful shots as well as more precise shots right now it's not yeah really the precision of my shots is pretty poor I tend to swipe too too long here's another example three match points for my coach he's going to win this one coach is not here to give you easy matches for sure he won it okay the algorithm of uh, this game is quite aggressive for sure can be frustrating a bit for beginners I guess but this is realistic too so it's good Ah, 
I'm not sure that uh, the opponents that I got are really human players. They may be bots as well, having just random names. I'm not sure that this game is really multiplayer actually. So it has very nice tennis mechanics, but uh, honestly, I prefer the real impression to play versus human players that I have in Tennis Clash. You know, here some time rallies uh, are too long, taking too much time. So of course in Tennis Clash, you will say that you use a very weird stuff like uh, special strings you know which gives you uh, surf counter abilities critical shots long catches here in tennis arena you have much more realistic uh, stuff a bit like in world of tennis so of course you can still buy better rackets or clothing but this is just going to improve your precision your power and it's not going to make you run and uh, make impossible movements like long catch in tennis clash or hit super strong shots like critical shots in tennis clash everything remains quite realistic the purpose of tennis arena is not making the game look super arcade yeah as you can see serving fast and strong is much more difficult in tennis arena than in tennis clash in tennis clash is very easy to serve fast and strong So in this first impressions video I'm playing in portrait mode only but you can play tennis arena in landscape mode as well you can't play tennis clash in landscape but you can in tennis arena however to make a good comparison with tennis clash I'm using the game in portrait mode so what we can see by browsing in the different tabs of the menu so far is that we don't have a player profile you know with the uh, number of total matches uh, play the win ratio number of wins number of uh, wins in a row etc don't have the feature to play versus friends human friends like in tennis slash and it is uh, a bit weird if you are really used to play tennis clash not to be able to send emojis during the match to your opponent I feel that uh, the game could be better in terms of uh, interactivity if uh, we have emoji option so we can play match using one gem we have uh, the season pass uh, and you have the free upgrades free bonus here yeah same system than the pro pass in tennis clash Reach player level 4 to play tournaments. So I wonder if those players are really human players or they are just bots controlled by artificial intelligence. Some of uh, the players who switch from Tennis Clash to Tennis Arena and who have played more than 1000 matches told me 
that they don't have the impression at all that they play versus human players but only versus bots so I don't know I need to I guess contact the support of Tennis Arena to ask about that but I wouldn't be surprised that they are only bots because the game is still young and it shouldn't be tricky to find opponents all the time very fast while here you can find opponents almost instantly in tennis arena it's a bit weird while the player base is supposed to be much smaller than in tennis clash yeah we're doing different challenges again to get rewards okay we're doing we have already done those challenges at the beginning of the game we're doing it again we have to wait one hour approximately to play one other match for free but you can play with uh, those green gems to play more matches so you have basic training you can spend coins for to do the training to get cards upgrade cards yeah history there's no history you can change the name you have the clothing yeah I'm going to change the color of my shirt a lot of customization rackets yeah you have choice to have precision racket power racket you know to improve the precision or the power of your shots it's exactly like in world of tennis roaring 20s so you have the trophies they are kind of milestones. You can collect the rewards in gems by tapping on the uh, completed milestones. Equipment character, you can choose the appearance of your character. You have the skills upgrade, of course. All to pay with coins. And you don't have many coins at the beginning. Of course, you can watch ads. And I'm going to watch an ad now. I have cut it by editing. Yay! I got 10 more coins. Now I can upgrade. Yeah, let's choose uh, to upgrade the precision to build your shot accuracy. Yay! Alright. Well, overall, I still prefer Tennis Clash for the faster, much faster gameplay. So, of course. I admit that Tennis Arena is much more realistic but the paywall is uh, quite fast appearing there you can of course watch ads to get coins and then upgrade for free but I don't like watching ads much well I hope you enjoy watching me have some in first impressions on Tennis Arena a sports game published by Helium 9 games don't forget to subscribe to the channel gameplay tc5 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of tennis games thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on gameplay tc5 bye bye